Thank you very much for joining me. This is going to be the finals BLG EU versus ESG EU in a best of three finals. We are currently loaded in the game and it is going to be happening right now. <coughs> Excuse me for that. As you can see here, they are now setting up for their level one buff grabbing and BLG doing what they like to do, which is kind of camp around and try and steal it maybe. This is the most action lane, as you can see here, whereas Guan Yu and Cupid, or Sobek and Cupid, are going to be over here. We do have the green side is ESG, the red side is BLG. The minions have spawned. It looks like they are going to push that. They have that hell over there in the corner. This could be really bad for BLG if they get caught. What will happen to Hell coming in now? Is she going to get the heels off is the question. Yuli and Smek are going to get out of there. Bastet jumps in, throwing down some pain. Ooh, Yuli, make it out. Oh, there they go. But they will turn around and take this health buff immediately. There's not a whole lot that Yuli can do about it. They are going to try and make them pay for having to deal with tanking that damage. And they do get the health buff for Spoo. And that is a little bit of an advantage because they did steal that buff. They did not take their own blue buff yet, have they? No, they have not. So here we go, starting off not in quite the fashion that they really wanted to because that Hell went off to do that. Although that did give time for Sayo to get a little level here, so he's going to get a one level advantage on this Hell. So they sacrificed mid lane a little bit to bring up their... Let's see, that's right lane, right? No, left lane. I'm going to get my orientation correct here. We do have this Odin, Odin and uh, Bastet left lane for ESG versus a on her Vimana. And we will see how this works out. Mid lane, we do have Agni versus Hell. Hell getting some, receiving some damage there. And right lane, we have Cupid and Sobek, which is the ESG, versus uh, da -da -da, Xyli and Rastarian. So I think Hell is, yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, Rastarian going down really early. Not what they wanted to do. But it seems to be in typical fashion for BLG for Rastarian to die <laughs> early. So that does give a little lead advantage here, while also giving a slight lead for the ESG in right lane. The only lane that they are sacrificing is mid lane, because now Sayo is level 3, and okay, now level 4. So we do see that they do have a 1,000 gold advantage with that kill. Eh, 500 gold, 700 gold. Whew, quite not a good start that you wanted to have for BLG, but they did get this attack speed buff. They did being ESG. Got to remember that BLG is red, which is good because our colors are kind of red. Clearing some waves. Staying pretty even in the levels. The raw not doing so well. Hopefully being able to avoid these plucks from this Sobek because that is what he is very strong with. Especially with the Cupid. If he can throw him and the Cupid can land the Heart Bomb right when he lands, then that is a lot of pain being thrown down all at once. Especially when the Tail Whip comes out from that Sobek. Let's go check on what's going. There's not a whole lot going in left lane because because they're just kind of farming buffs and pushing lanes. So this seems the most action-oriented lane at the moment. We will keep checking here. Let's see what their early builds are. We do see a Spear of the Magus on a Lobster. Heartseeker still on Cupid. Not sure why everybody's still going Heartseeker with that nerf, but hey, if it works for them, it works for them. That Bastet able to, able to complete that Heartseeker. So it is going to put her in a dangerous spot for everybody else. Are they going to be able to land this? Honey Badger throwing down his ultimate, going to do as much damage as he can. He puts down a lot of pain. Will they be able to land this? Oh, he will get away. Let's check out what's going on over here with Odin, Bastet, and Yuli, versus, and Yuli being the mana and on her. There we go. I'll get it right. Yes, Sobek and Cupid is arguably some of the best lane cops, comps. Looks like the North American teams are going to be starting here soon. Because I see KO coming online. Everybody gearing up, getting ready. As we see here, they're just going to be keeping the push their, keeping on pushing their lanes. Having a little bit of level advantage. Both Spoo and Hyrock have their, have their ultimates up. While the BLG guys do not. They're not quite level 5 yet. Soon though. Soon. Looks like they do want to jump in there. They're definitely going to try and zone them out from any experience they can. Being very bullish with this Bastet and Odin. Throwing the bleed. He does hit him with the spears, knocking him back enough to get him out. Whew. Very intense. Very intense matches here. 
Don't want to miss anything. Looks like that Agni was pondering going over there, but he must go push back that hell. Ooh, he can, oh, he tried to land the stun, pinning her to the wall, but no success. It looks like they're just going to walk over here and take this buff. What will BLG do about it? They have to deal with this large, large creep wave. So it looks like they won't really be able to do anything about it. They do get that buff, and they are getting back in lane right now. There goes the ultimate. Ooh, is he going to throw down an ult? No. Because he does not have any support from that Vimana. So he would just kind of shoot and pray. But they did get manage to get their level back up, so it is six, mostly. Sayo being a little bit higher, level seven now, but Lobster catching up very quickly. So I was correct with Lobster taking that hell mid. Spoo running in there, jumping in, gonna throw down some pain, but Schmeck jumping right out. That Schmeck. Let's go check on what's going on in the left lane, right lane, excuse me. Honey Badger and Young Bay staying one level ahead of Rastarian and Zylea here. Trying to do what they can. I'm surprised that Rastarian isn't running that monkey. He's running the raw. Usually Rastarian runs a very good uh, monkey. <laughs> Wukong. There we go. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guan Yu was banned out, so they did not go with a Wukong Guan. That would have been the ideal situation for them. Reading some chat there. We got a little action. Oh, looks like we do have a Schmeck going down. Yuli trying to lay down as much pain as he can. But he is just going to ultimate and get out of there. So that is another death for BLG, bringing the lead for ESG up to two. But as we've seen, BLG seems to be a late game team, in my opinion. They like to feed early and kill late. <laughs> Right lane here, we have Honey Badger. It looks like he's going in for a pluck there. He might, maybe, no, not going to. But one thing I like to try to do, especially when they're that far pushed up, when you're full health, if you can go in there and get that Sobek to maybe land one hit on you, then it turns all of your creeps on him. So, But then you do risk getting pulled out and getting really injured, which is not the best idea. And so, especially like when you're defending your tower, one particular move I like to run is if they're especially ranged guys, like if Cupid's sitting here shooting at your tower, just go whoop and run in front of his, one of his shots. Then he'll start taking tower hits and be forced to back out. Ooh, is the he's jockeying for position? Looks like they might try it. We can see here Odin keeping this on her and Ra or on her and Vamana back. Odin and Spoo going to be backing out. Go back over here. We do have a... Ooh, we have a party time. Wukong throwing down his ult. Honey Badger throwing down that tail whip, knocking everybody out. Rastarian trying to get away as fast as he can. Is he going to lay down some more pain? Ooh, he does have Heavenly Agility, so he is able to get away. Will they be able to get a double kill? Whoa, the ultimate great shot by Rastarian. Will they be able to get the kill? There goes the slow. Can he get it finally? Oh, such a close merch. Oh, the Honey Badger does go down to the raw. Will the Cube would be able to take out Rastarian? It does seem that way. There he goes. And then Xylea will be forced to back out because he is too low of a health. So that was a very, very, very action-packed battle. One for one, which isn't the best trade in BLG's side, but better than two at one. So it looks like Vamana and Anher here are kind of... What are they doing? Was Vamana going in for a gank, maybe? As we can see here, Bastet was... I hear her jumping to go get that speed buff. Hyrock here defending this lane all by his lonesome, but he is two levels ahead of Smek and Yuli. So he will be able to just keep pushing up that lane, especially with all those creeps there, waiting for that spear to come out to take out the rest of those creeps, or an Umbrella Rang. Looks like they're just going to auto-attack it down. Try and keep High Rock there back. As you can see here, the right lane, they did get that health buff again. Ooh, Lobster goes down to Sayo mid lane. Excellent, excellent time there. So it is going to help Sayo build up a little bit more. While we have this slight lull in play, let's check out our items. Spear of the Magus still being the favorite of casters, especially on the BLGNA side. 
The Executioner finished for Anher Smek. Uh, let's see, we got some Void Stone for Magical Power and Protection also on Sayo. Building that up. Wukong going pretty much for Power and Penetration on Damage. And let's see what's going on on the EU side. We have, or ESG side is some tankiness from that uh, Sobek. More tankiness with those boots. What else we got? Ooh, is he going to get caught out? Spoo looking to try and get killed by a Sayo there. Running in to take that buff. Vamana's here also. Will they be able to land anything to slow him down? Nope. Looks like Spoo will just get away. Looks like we have a small engagement, possibly. Nope. No engagement. Just kind of doing their thing. Let's get back to mid lane here. Everybody's going to kind of break off. It looks like Sayo might want to try and take on a Lobster. Can he do it? Oh, Young Base slays Xylea in the right lane. Are they going to be able to get that monkey? Uh, raw. Ooh, Rastarian trying to get out of there. Tail Whip helping him some there, but he is going to get plucked and pulled back. And so Rastarian will go down, bringing the lead of ESG to 4-2. to two. That Ra and Wukong going down. Bringing the lead up to 3k gold lead. Still no towers, still no phoenixes, obviously. Uh, it's mostly just trading back and forth. Hopefully BLG can make a comeback here and just, you know, push this lane, but it, they might lose this tower here, which won't really be very good for this left lane. As we can see, it's going down pretty quick. Yeah, they're going to get that tower. Moving on. Monkey will not get there in time. They're going to back out. Where are this Odin? And they're going to go get this gold harpy. Will BLG be able to do anything about this? We'll find out shortly. There goes the attack speed buff. Looks like they're going to be able to take it down just fine. No intervention from BLG in its imminent future. But no wards yet either. Is that a BLG or an... Oh, it resets. Oh, not what you wanted to have happen. They pulled it a little too far. And it reset doing all of the damage back. Reverting all of its damage. And so now it's going to come back out again. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What is going on? There's the Gold Harpy still walking away. It looks like they gave up on Gold Harpy. Sayo coming back from getting more stuff. Rastarian pushing up that, that wave really far to try and take out that tower as best he can. But it looks like it will not be successful. Let's see what on her and... Ooh, they're going to take the Gold Harpy for BLG. Looks like they will get it. Yes, and that does cut their lead of gold in a little bit. Now it is only 26,000 to 24,000, so they brought it up another 1,000, keeping that difference as minimal as they can. What's going on here? Left lane. Looks like Rastarian might get caught out by Young Bay and Honey Badger. Can he get around? Look at all that dodging and weaving. <clears throat> Yo, nice dodge from that pluck, and they will have to be forced to back out thanks to the creeps, and now they will just instantly wipe the creeps, call it a day, and go away. Hmm. <laughs> And it is now five to two. In the favor of ESG. Will they catch out Monkey here? He's throwing down some wards, it looks like, so he will see them coming around. Looks like they're dancing around this blue buff. Ooh, is he gonna try and get a kill on this young bay? Ooh, landing that heart bomb. He needs to get out of there. There comes Rastarian. Oh no, there goes the ultimate, the, the dash, and Youngbei slays Xylea. Will Ra be able to do anything about it is the question. There goes the heals. Here comes Vamana in to help. Or, I'm sorry, there, Agni also. Vamana also there. <laughs> it's got a little team battle going on here, but ESG will back out, take their kill, and walk away, bringing their lead 6-2, to two, and also bumping up their gold lead to 3,000. Whew, so much intenseness. I love this game. It's so very, very intense. Hope my voice holds out for the rest of this best of three. I'm going to have to stop casting the EU games after this because I'm not going to be able to talk. Or not after this, but uh, not going to be able to do any of the NA games. It looks like they're going to try and catch out this Yuli here with the Vamana. They do have a Odin and Bastet, but they will back out as Sayo does arrive to try and... Ooh, ooh, they get the stun down on High Rock. Odin will jump away as the ultimate lands. Will he be able to get another ultimate off? Oh, slowing. Here comes the Wukong and the ultimate's land. Yuli gets the kill and the Odin goes down. There goes a party time. Lobster looks like he will get killed in short order, maybe. 
Ooh, it's so close. There goes the on her getting the kill. And the honey, ba honey badger coming in there trying to pluck Smek there, but being unsuccessful. Looks like they will back out. Maybe they might try and grab this Sobek. If he goes in the jungle, this could be dangerous. They do have a Cupid also running around in there. But it looks like the Cupid and Sobek will meet up, and then the BLG will just go ahead and back away, which is a smart move from BLG side. Go ahead, go back, refresh, heal up. They did get two down, so that's much better. They bring the, they cut the lead in half, more than half. <laughs> so it's now six to two, six to four in favor of ESG. When will spectate note mode be public? Unknown. Unknown. Oh, my eyes can dry here, keeping them open too long. Got to remember to blink. Blinking overpowered. So we do have this mid lane. We got Yuli, Rastarian, and Sayo going to be pushing it up. Going to take some buffs. Trying to decide what they want to do. Lobster is now here, along with Hyrock, is coming in from the left. Is he going to try and flank? Vamana does have to go over here and save their left lane, but ooh, Sayo lands the stun. Not going to land too much more, though. He gets one more ult down, but it's not going to do a whole lot to that Hell who can heal herself pretty quickly. How are they doing over in this lane? Keeping the creeps off of their second... No, their first tower. Sorry. That's right. No towers have gone down quite yet. I thought... I swore this tower went down. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm right. There's a the tower down. I'm getting my sides mixed up. There we are. BLG lost the tower. It's the e ESG that has not lost the tower. Getting my directions messed up. Looks like they are going to go over here and take this speed buff from BLG. Call it a day. Back out. And they will just have to deal with that. Whew. Level advantage. Not a whole, whole advantage. Yeah, they do have a pretty decent advantage, though, with that young bay, the level 16. Is not going to help out BLG's side. If they can take this in the late game and catch up on those levels, this will definitely help. But Sayo being the highest leveled character at 14 and mid lane, it's just not optimal as what you want. They are going to have to be very careful here in case Sobek and Cupid, who are now coming over, they do take out mid tower, so they will back away, thankfully, before so Sobek and Cupid do get here as they are on their way. It looks like they're going to go right over here into this. Are they going to try and get Gold Fury again? It should be popping in just a minute. Looks like they're gearing up for that High Rock coming over here to poke. He might get caught. There's Gold Fury. Are they going to pull it right now? Or are they going to wait to see what ESG does? Yes, they are. Let's get this full view. As you can see, High Rock, it looks like he's going to go and hide in Gold Fury. Lots of dancing, lots of poking, prodding. We'll see how long this takes. Somebody's got to make the first move before something happens. Now all five of them are there. Let's wait for ESG to show up. Yep, they're all five there now, too. Trying to decide, making them throw down some spells. Fomana doing what he does best, which is going in and tanking. He is going to jump in there. The Odin ultimate goes down, catching in the Xylea's Wukong. And also the Onher. Will he be able to get out of that? Yes, they will. It looks like they might be able to take out something. Youngbae gets stunned. So much action, so little time. Vamana getting out of his ultimate now. It looks like they're going to be forced to back out. BLG, that is. Ra going in with his heal heart beam. He also gets stunned. Will he die? Yes, he does go down. And that is three down for BLG. Those kitties finally going and finishing off for ESG. And that brings their lead nine to four. And they are going to take out this gold harpy very quick. Get that extra money. Bringing their gold lead to 37 to 3,200. So a 5,000 gold difference. Not looking too good here for BLG in game one of this final. Thankfully, though, good things. Good things are that they can, you know, there's always game two and three. ESG going to be running in here to get this fire giant immediately after getting that gold harpy. Exactly what they need to do because there are still three down and they will not have too much con contestation. There won't be much of a contest. Looks like Wukong, whoa, getting the slow thrown down on him. And they will be forced to back out. Wukong not able to do too much. He was kind of looked like he was thinking about it, thinking about it ever so, ever so much. But here they come. Looks like they are going to split off and try and take another tower. Vamana and I think uh, Wukong going to really get the check the speed buff that is still not there. Oh, so much action. Let's take a little break here and have a look at these items. Let's see what 
ESG is doing there. Definitely going all out damage on that Cupid. Sobek going for the health and defense. The Bastet going more damage and physical penetration. Odin going very bruiser. He's got a lot of power and a lot of damage. A little bit of tankiness. Also with Lobster going mostly for magic regen and uh, some tankiness. That magic protection is really where he wants to be at. And of course the young babe going all out damage. <clears throat> Let's go see what's going on there. Going to be pushing left lane. Whilst BLG's contesting mid. Am I in? Yes, I am in mid. There she is. Is Yuli and Xylea going to get caught out here? It's two on two right now, but then there's Spoo coming in with that Bastet, and it could be very dangerous for the two of them. Looks like they decided to trade lanes, but everybody's kind of converging on this area. This could be a good team battle coming up. Yuli gets pulled out by Sobex. Pluck. <coughs> Tail Whip also going out. Yuli goes down from lots of pain. Ultimate's coming out from Agni. The Odin ultimate going down, catching in Rastarian. Ra is not going to be able to do much about that. High Rock jumping out and going under the tower. Not sure. Then the tower goes down. There goes ESG pushing pushing BLG back. Looks like they, they will be able to get Sayo here with that. The Wukong ultimate goes down to try and save him, but no, he will not. Xyli will also go down. And that is a deicide for ESG. Excellent work. And there goes the surrender from BLG. Into game two. Good game. Well played. Well played. ESG put up a very, very nice fight. 14 to 4 there at the end. Quite an interesting game. We'll see how they try and make a comeback in this next game. Thanks for joining me, all you people watching on the VOD. It has been very exciting. I hope you guys are enjoying my commentaries. I work to improve them as much as I can. Let's gonna see if this will be a tough climb for BLG to come back up from a 1-0 deficit. Or an 0-1 deficit for BLG. ESG obviously being up 1-0. Thank you very much. And we'll have the next game coming up shortly.